Hey, Steve here, and in this video, you're going to learn how to warm a photo in Photoshop using a super quick technique that adds a really soft, warm glow to any photo. And then as a little bonus on the end, because this is going to be quite a quick tutorial, I'm going to show you my favorite technique for adding even more warm, hazy light using my sun blur technique. So stay tuned to see that in just a second. But first, remember, if you like this video, then hit that thumbs up button to let me know so that I can keep on making more just like it and subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell notification icon too so that YouTube will notify you every time I publish a new video. Now, if you wanna take your Photoshop skills to the next level, then luminosity masking is by far the one thing that you can learn that will give you the biggest bang for your buck. So if you're new to luminosity masking and would like to learn, then you can download my free PDF guide in the description below this video. So for this quick tip, I've just opened up one of my previously edited images and taken back a few layers here to show you the uh, one particular layer that does the trick that I wanted to show you. So yeah, with this image as it was, I mean, I've done some exposure blending and a couple of uh, levels and curves adjustments. Uh, and then it got to the point where I, you know, wanted to really warm this image up because the sunset that I witnessed here when I was taking this photo, it really had that warm, hazy glow and you know, no matter how much I processed the image uh, in terms of blending the exposures and bracketing the exposures, you know, I couldn't quite recreate that just using the light that was available in the image. So I created this layer here, which basically warms the foreground up and gives it a nice, soft, subtle, warm glow. So the way that I did that is quite simple. It's just a single um, adjustment layer so from the adjustment layers uh, pop-up menu here, you're gonna pick solid color. And then with this solid uh, color, color picker, if you're, well, it depends what settings you previously used this tool on as to what appears first here. But my advice would be to click the S little toggle here to move into the saturation mode. Slide this slider all the way to the top and then grab like a golden color over here in the top left. And that'll probably do. So click OK. You don't have to be 100% precise here as long as it's a nice warm golden color. Uh, you can see here, I've actually picked one that's slightly less orange than the one I used before, but it'll be close enough. So next, all we need to do is change the blend mode to overlay. And that is the effect. Obviously it's way too strong right now. So we just need to bring the opacity of this layer down. And I think for my previous edit, I brought it down somewhere between 10 and 15%. So here, while it looks like it's kind of almost entirely gone on a 15% opacity, if I toggle this layer off and on, you can see that it does bring that nice warm glow into the image. And the next step is basically because I don't want to remove all that blue from the sky that kind of just makes it look a bit weird so i'm going to click in the layer mask get my brush tool with the black brush and i'm just going to do this on 100 percent opacity at the moment just for the sake of the demonstration but you, know, you can be a bit more careful when you're doing this kind of thing yourself um yeah i'm just going to mask this effect out of the sky and there we go so this is the nice warm glow that's added by that color fill layer um, so the next thing I wanted to show you was just another quick uh, technique that I call my sun blur technique or sun blur effect. Um, before I actually got to that, I did create another layer for this particular image um, just to sort of darken the edges of the shot. Um, but then next was this sun blur layer. So this is what it looks like. And so there it kind of adds that, that kind of hazy effect that, you know, when you're looking into the sun, uh, you know, that light gets really hazy. You can't quite see what's happening. You know, this kind of effect is used a lot in kind of atmospheric sort of scenes in movies and whatnot. Um, and so, yeah, I quite liked it in this image. I'll show you how to recreate that now. Essentially all it is, is an empty layer. So I'll add a blank layer and I'm gonna grab my brush tool. I still got that selected. I'll drop down to about 30% opacity. And what I'll do is well again i want to go for a sort of warm color um sort of a warm orangey color now i usually recommend 
trying to sample a color from around the sky around that brightest spot where the sun is um, so you can do that by holding alt or option on the keyboard with the brush tool selected and then sampling a color there however that's not quite warm enough for you know for what i want so actually maybe something down this way is getting closer so i'll sample that but then i'm just going to click the uh, the foreground color there just to see if i can increase the opacity of that a little bit i want to kind of make it a bit more orangey somewhere around here so click ok and now with the brush tool i'm just going to increase the brush size make it quite large and just do one click with the mouse and that is basically <laughs> the effect in a nutshell so from here on in it's just a matter of uh, blending that in and uh, what you can do is make the brush even bigger and do like a massive circle there and then as you get closer to the middle you know you can keep adding uh, that one is probably a bit too much uh, just undo that and reduce the opacity of the brush yeah, you can keep adding them so that the effect gets stronger towards the middle uh, of you know the the light source in this case the sun and then you can just reduce the opacity to blend this layer in and yeah you can do that to taste really um, so let me just compare this layer to what I had before so it's getting it's pretty similar. Maybe the original one was a little bit more of a golden color, but you know you can you can play around with uh, the exact color that you're going to sample. Um, but yeah, basically that is again the technique in a nutshell. So two quick tips in this video for you. Uh, just for completeness, I'll just show you the rest of the uh, process for this uh, this processing of this image uh, next. After this point, I just created an autumn effect layer, which uh, has just got a reduced opacity there to blend it in a bit. So now the colors are getting really nice and dark and rich. Uh, then this layer here was just to uh, increase the detail in the front here where this little bush is. And then I've got a layer here to remove that lens flare just around the front there as well, around the front of the image. And this hue saturation layer is again just part of that repair job when um, yeah when I was repairing and removing that lens flare um, here so the clone didn't quite you know the color still looked a bit weird after cloning that lens flare out so I just changed the hue and saturation to make that blend in a little bit more and so I'll pop a little uh, video notification thing up in the top right corner because uh, I just brushed over the autumn effect you know, I just mentioned it briefly there um, I'll just put a little video up in the corner here where uh, you can see how to create that technique or create that effect I should say from scratch uh, that should just be up in the top corner or if you click that little eye icon in the top corner of the screen then that video will just pop out and you can go and watch that otherwise I uh, hope you enjoyed these two techniques uh, these two tips that I've shared with you today Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.